hey guys what's good so today's video is highly requested and i thought i should share some tips on how i edit my pictures using airbrush app for a better outcome make sure that you're using the back camera of your phone you're in the good lighting and your background is non-destructive so i'm using the app called airbrush make sure that you install it as soon as you open airbrush your gallery pops up and all the folders will appear this is where you choose your pick so my folder was the bluetooth i selected my pick and it's loading to rotate the picture you need to click on the two settings and on adjust because it's impossible to edit the picture when it's like that so now we're going to smoothen the skin the smoothening option is found on retouch when you click on the smoothen option, you have to choose whether you want your pick to be light or heavy. I usually choose based on how my pick came out. I'm going with the heavy option because my skin was feeling too much rush and I want it to be flawless honey. Guys, you want to go easy on smoothening otherwise you end up looking like a door or a ghost. Your editing must be flawless. It must be normal. It mustn't be too much. It mustn't be fake. That's all I'm trying to say. So smoothening is very important, but don't be too much on this one. Anyway, when you smoothen, these are the parts that you need to smoothen. Don't smoothen your eyes because we want to see the eye detail of your makeup. Don't smoothen the lips, otherwise we won't see. Don't smoothen the eyebrows. You just have to smoothen the cheeks the forehead the chin area the nose you get it basically you smoothen the face makeup the eraser option is used to erase any mistake that you may have made when you were smoothening so you really have to take your time anyway the next step is blur you want to blur that background because i don't want those holes to appear you find the blur option on the tools and depending on my background how it looks i usually go on the auto because it's convenient for me again the erase i'm using it to rub everything that i might have bled by mistake you know so i'm just blurring everything i don't want to appear and i'm erasing everything i want to appear in the picture you get Again, it should be easy with this option and should be very careful because you want everything to blend in and you want the blend to be seamlessly, you get it. And these are the parts that I only blur. I only blur my background. I don't blur my face. I don't blur any objects on my face or my clothes because it won't look real. I want everything to look perfect and very real now we are proceeding to adding color to the face and we use enhances take note we are not using any filter these are enhances just to enhance your face you know you can find the enhance feature on the tools again and with this one you just have to play around with the options the sharpening the saturation the highlights the shadows the brightening you know it's up to you like how you want the outcome to be i can't tell you how you must do this one so you see my face is not too much but it's just there now this is the last option we're gonna do a retouch just to add a little vroom vroom to the face you know the smooth and the brightening in the skin tone otherwise if you don't want that option it's also up to you maybe you'll be satisfied with the enhances see this is easy to use guys if you practice and if you take your pictures the way i told you you must then you're good to go this brings us to the end of the video i hope you enjoyed it i hope you're gonna try it and just let me know how you find it when you do try thank you so much for watching please don't forget to subscribe to comment down below to engage to share and yeah see you in my next video bye